Good morning. Again, look forward to playing at the Rock on Saturday. Like uh, Joey says, it's been 37 days since we uh, played a home game. Uh, our community's been through a lot. Uh, what we learned, they're resilient and a lot of great people who um, have have each other's back here in Boone. So, again, look forward to playing in front of our home home uh, fan, our our fans and our students. And it's going to be a, a great day for App State, uh, Western North Carolina, and Boone. So, welcome to questions. Uh, Jordan Luker, Appalachian Weekly News and 90.5 WA. So sort of going off of the stadium, what, in your opinion, does it mean to the community to be back here at Kid Brewer Stadium? It means everything. It's, uh, you know, you think about uh, Appalachian State Athletics and what it means to the community and, and what our community means to us. But it's a way to get back to some kind of normalcy. Uh, again, just uh, very excited, very proud of everyone involved to give us this opportunity. So I know our, our players are excited to play another home game, and uh, it's one we look forward to. And then with the bye week after the Louisiana game, what has been some extra prep emphasized in practice in preparation for this game again? Well, you think about uh, bye week, things you have to get done. And we had to go out and recruit. We were recruited early in the week and did some self-scout stuff in all three phases of our, our program and then recruited on the latter part of the week. Came back yesterday, had a great practice on Sunday, and uh, today's our day off. We'll get back to a, a heavy uh, install emphasis on Tuesday, Wednesday. So uh, we were able to practice twice um, during the bye week. That was a great, it was a good physical practice. Go back to some basic fundamentals of, of what we do. And uh, so, again, it's, it was a good bye week. Got a little bit more healthier, which we needed to do. And, and now we're on the Georgia State. Thing. You said improvements in practice going off of that. Joey Aguilar, he had four interceptions in Louisiana. What improvements specifically have you noticed in him throughout this practice? Well, again, we, we all know we can turn the ball over uh, five times, one fumble and four interceptions. But, again, Joey's uh, continuing to improve on, on a daily basis. And he's one of the first ones in, last ones out. Uh, he understands that. But we have to do a better job of calling plays. And our player, the players around have to play better. So uh, th those were all on Joey. And I know he uh, he's excited to get there and get that bad taste out of his mouth on Saturday. Coach, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Can you uh, describe for people who haven't been to a game at the Rock, and you've you've coached and seen been in so many here? What what is the atmosphere like? Yeah, it's one of the best college. Uh, Atmospheres in all college sports. Uh, it's a great home field advantage. Uh, our, our fans are in it early until the very end. And again, that's what makes this place so special. Uh, our, our fans, our students, everyone involved in our program. Um, again, you, you play around our conference. There's no other program in our conference that has these kind of fans, passionate fan base. And even when you play uh, other schools outside of our conference, I mean, a, you can tell there's a true difference in that. And that's what we're proud of. It's something that's taken a long time to get here uh, to, the, to this level. Level, and we keep improving year in and year out. So I'm just uh, very proud to be a part of it. And I know our, uh, our players uh, thrive off the home field advantage. Was there ever a serious consideration given to moving these home games for the rest of the year to Wake Forest or to Charlotte? Yeah, I was not involved in those meetings. I know with uh, Chancellor Norris, her leadership team, Doug Gillen, our athletic director, um, the county commissioner, uh, the mayor, they were all involved in that. They want to make sure they do it the right way uh, to make sure everyone was uh, safe. And again, we're just thankful that uh, everything came to fruition. Uh, a plan came together, and um, now we're back to some kind of normalcy. And, and that's what we wanted to do in a safe way. But again, it's going to be a great atmosphere. It's homecoming, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun on Saturday. Greer Hodge, Appalachian Weekly News. Touching on Georgia State coming up this weekend, their defense is only allowing 18% of their third down conversions while App is getting 36%. Based on these stats, by both teams, how do you think that's going to play out this weekend? Well, it's historically in the game plan process, but they have they have really good players and they have great coaches there. Coach McGee's done a great job of hiring um, a, a defensive coordinator that's coached in the SEC, coached in the NFL. So uh, they know how to coach football, and, and they got really good players. So um, you, you watched their season from top to bottom, from Georgia Tech to Vanderbilt. They had a big win for Vanderbilt, who upsets Alabama, who's one of the best teams in college football. So um, again, it's going to be a, a big challenge for us. But really, we, we can't beat ourselves, and that's what it comes down to. To be able to be in uh, third and manageable, which means you got to be good on first and second down. Uh, you have to be able to run the football. You have to be able to throw and catch. So that's going to be a big point of emphasis this week to make sure we're in third and manageable. We can't be in third and long uh, all day long, or else it's, it's not going to uh, – it won't be well for us.
With the past two weeks off, including a bye, what has the team done to improve the turnover margin numbers with Georgia State's at a plus one and apps at negative 10? Yeah, that's negative 10 is not good. Uh, we understand that. It's something we we do practice ball security and talk about uh, harp on ball security. Uh, but again, we go back to things. Uh, we have to make sure we do the right things on offense. And we also have to get some more on defense. So it goes both ways. But again, I'm, I'm proud of the way our defense played against Louisiana, gave ourselves a chance to win. But uh, you can't do those things and win football games. David Ware, 24 7 Sports. Sean, building off of that, what's the conversation that you've had with the coaching staff relative to getting back to achieving complementary football? And we talk about that uh, on a daily basis. And again, we're able to stop the run on defense and, and get off the field on third down. And then on offense, we have to continue drives. Uh, we have to be able to start fast. We haven't started fast this year. Uh, so we we have a plan in place to start fast. Um, the rest of the, we've had a plan in place to start fast. It hasn't worked. So uh, how are we going to adjust? And uh, so I think we have a great plan. Um, but again, it goes back to playing good, uh, good defense, got the field on third down, don't have explosive plays on offense, should have uh, possessed the football longer than we have. Speaking of the defense, there were some notable personnel changes at Louisiana. I've seen that proliferate as practices have gone on this week. Um, what can you tell us about some of the decisions that have been made to maybe look at some different people on that side of the ball? We're just going to try to get the best players on the field to give us a chance to be successful. So younger guys have uh, really performed throughout the year, and they've earned the right to uh, to get more snaps. And uh, by doing that against Louisiana, those uh, the kids you're talking about have came in and, and, and made some uh, impact plays. So uh, again, we're not you know throwing people to the off the bus. We just want to make sure we get the right people on the on the on the field at the right time to make a play. You mentioned using the bye week to get healthier. Uh, can you give us kind of a status update on anybody who would be at risk for this week's game? Uh, right now, uh, Mikel Hay would be uh, probable. Uh, and we'll find out more on Tuesday uh, with a lower leg injury. Uh, we hope to get him back. But other than that, we should all be back um, uh, on Saturday. Michael Hughes is out. Uh, but other than that, we should be fine. Coach, is the bye week kind of that right line to be drawn, this team has always finished the year well. Is this a helpful kind of stop to the the progression of things to say, all right, it's it's go time now? Do you, do you see the seeds of that starting? Yeah, the, the bye week couldn't happen a better time for us to, to push the reset button in some ways and uh, to get some guys uh, more healthy. There's always been a saying around here is, you know, how are you going to finish? And uh, there's that's more not as it's more true now than ever. Uh, we know we're, we're standing at two and four. I, I do believe we're a better football program than we've played and, uh, this season. So, uh, again, we had a great team meeting throughout the bye week. Our kids are excited to play. We know what we have to do, and now we have to go out and execute and get the job done. David, do you have anything? Any more questions? Matt. Matt, President, Appalachian Sports Network. Coach, you've talked over the last couple of weeks about using this by and kind of the key areas being blocking and tackling. How has that played out in practice in terms of how you've specifically improved in those areas? Well, there's a fine line of, you know, tackling in practice because uh, you can't really have a chance taking um, get with someone injured. So there are certain drills we do. We do have tackling circuits. We do have ball screens. Uh, circuits that we've done and, and you have to um, improve on those on game day. So we all talk about all the time is, you know, practice execution is game day reality. So we have to be able to execute better in practice to give us a chance to win uh, on Saturday. So again, I think the bye week hit, hit the right time. Uh, our kids needed that uh, to push the reset button. And again, we look forward to a great opportunity on Saturday to play Georgia State.